Hey y'all. So, oh, this is shaky. Let me go tighten this up real quick. Be back. Dad, you can, you, you, you can make it. Yep. A little bit, little bit, running a little bit late, but still able to make it. Running a little late. I know. We all do that sometimes. Yep. Were you able to contact you know what your... I'm going to do? What's that? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You want to know what I'm going to do? I definitely do. Obviously, since you are going to set me up with the clinic, that means I can take all of this, bring it over there, okay. and work on the files on my own. Okay. But it's going to take me more time and more energy to show a new medical assistant what to do. Okay. Does that make sense to you? I already know what needs to be done. Right. Well, the question I, is, do you have the time to do it versus still handling your clients? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Like, that's that's like, the million dollar question. Says, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm supposed to be leaving here December 6th right. of the country, because you know, the Absolutely. You know, That's you most know. important. That's what you're doing this for. If you don't spend time with, uh, right. Somebody else gonna somebody spend time. Somebody <laughs> else yeah. 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 Smart, yeah. <laughs> <You're> right. Right. <laughs> That's right. So I'm just gonna. I figure you know it's best just <clears throat> put a sign clinic closed till December 13th. Okay. Because um, it doesn't make sense to. Get somebody right now that's going to be um, rude. Right. And then leave them here for a week alone. Uh, how many days? Um, how many days would you have to train them? Six. Oh, it's going to take uh, at least 30. Normally, the 90, you know, 90 days is oh, to yeah, train no, someone. No. Once you have an understanding. Yeah. Uh, this person. Yeah, I get them here maybe, let's say, Monday. Right. And I need Tuesday. No, Tuesday. Make, so. makes no sense. Uh -huh. Makes no sense at all. I'm sitting here. So, um, okay. did you uh, get in contact with your cousin. friend, cousin? Yeah. Well, I don't think we were going to, uh, uh, If you want, we can power it up. Yeah, no, I can, I, I can take a look Remember? at it. Because there was no reason for me to get in touch with him. Oh. Okay. You had mentioned. Well, you told me that they give you instructions, so I told you I would look at the instructions. Let's so see. I can definitely what do that. Instructions? No, I didn't get instructions. Let me show you. Oh, here it is. Parallel. Okay. Boom. Checking for new. A new version. Look at that. Right. So does it cost anything to upgrade or okay. is it just a free upgrade? Download update, boom. Okay. It's 327.5 megabytes. That shouldn't take that long. 6, 6 megabytes per second. Look at all the stuff I know. Uh -huh. You know why I know it? Because you had to do it before? Because it's written right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I can't, see, I can't see that. I can't see that small. Uh-uh. <laughs> So apparently, I don't have to buy. Well, that's good news. But see, once you install that new Windows for me, then I can follow my my stocks like I used to do on here. Okay. Because this has been dead now for almost two years because... Because that's a Windows application. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I wish they would make it work and be used for both. Right. Yeah, but you know, Apple has to have their, um, what do you call that? Proprietary. Yep, that's how they make money. Because I'm thinking maybe I could, once it's set up, I can leave it open. 
down here. Mm -hmm. and just I think it was set up before when I entered. Yeah. Passage. Now, just kind of thinking ahead uh, a little later, you know, there's equipment that we can purchase to where, like, say you're going home, you could actually take some of this home with you, and you could actually log into the office and work. You work just as if you were right here. Okay, I know about this. No, 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 not that. You could log into your Cairo and everything, yeah. As if you're sitting right here. Okay. But what I... What does this have? Huh? What are you saying about this? Oh, I'm just saying, I, I don't know how things work. I mean, do you take this and put it into Cairo or... Um, no. What I do is, um, I review the diagnosis and, uh, and, uh, Email them. CPT codes. Okay. Should they match if they're wrong, then I have to make those corrections. Okay. Right, right. Okay, I was thinking you, you had to input that into Cairo. Well, when, when they're new patients, like the ones I saw yesterday, I had three new patients yesterday. Uh -huh. I'm going to input them. Okay. Absolutely. But, okay. Uh, but yeah, so if you're not seeing a patient, there's no reason for you to be able to connect in. So then don't worry about that. New features available, so I don't need to see that. Okay, Windows XP cannot be started because it contains an Intel-based operating system. Such systems are not compatible with Mac computers equipped with the Apple M1 chip. Right. Please check the list of supported guest operating systems. Okay, so go ahead and, and click, click on that. Below to create an arms. Okay, create. Ah, uh -uh. oh. click click on the list so I can see. <laughs> hey, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I need to see what is the list of supported operating systems. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, time for daddy to get to work. Jesus, what All is right. this country heading to? Do you see, do you believe, do you, do you believe this? What's that? Banks are cutting off citizens based on their political beliefs. And I, you know what that means. I, I had no idea that could happen. Oh, you have no idea. You're yeah. not paying attention uh -uh. to the, to the, uh, the, 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 I mean, I think you know how thick the air has been in this country for the past year and a half? It's definitely been thick, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, so we're going to click on get this list. Okay, only ARM versions of the operating system are supported. Windows 11 or ARM recommended. Okay, no parallels. All right, y'all, so we are right now just reading through... Um, what it takes to run Windows 11 since that's the latest OS out on Parallels. So, just kind of show y'all here. So I just have to kind of go through that article and see what the requirements are. Because I can definitely, I mean, we've been installing Windows 11 on a bunch of machines, so that shouldn't be a problem. The question is just how to do it on this particular application. Um, I mean, if, if you think he knows how, but otherwise he's probably just going to do the same thing I'm doing, which is just reading up on it. He's the one that had done it before, what you're looking at, but it was set up before with HP. Right. Okay, so they basically saying you're gonna have to purchase a key, which I was pretty much aware of. So if you want the pro version, it's like two hundred dollars. If you, well, you need to go with the pro version. You don't need to do the home, uh, just because of your business and tr you're trying to do business stuff on here. It may limit you on what you can do. Um. Uh, why did it make this so complicated? To register, you must sign in with your Microsoft account. Do you have a Microsoft account? Okay, well, we're probably gonna have to make you one. Well, he didn't do that before. 
I'm just going by the directions that I'm reading under parallel. So if you want to call him and yeah. Yeah, a lot of things have changed since Windows XP. Everything's pointing back to this, so you're gonna have to register and go through all this extra stuff. So I just want y'all to see this. <clears throat> All right. So we have his email. He just confirmed it. And it says we could not. Um, it's acting like he does not have a ID, right? So then I'm gonna say create one. It says, okay, you may already have an account. That email address is already being used with another Microsoft account. You should sign in with that account. Okay, uh, they just sent the code to that email address. Can you access it? <laughs> should. Brief, yeah, Microsoft. Okay, you have a now uh, uh, phone number ending in four five. All right, so just say sign in. Okay. That's weird. Let's do a refresh. See, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Give me a password that you would want to use uh, for a Microsoft account. Just any, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, we finally got past that. So now, saying we need to register. 
for the Windows Insider program. Go ahead and register now. Microsoft account security info was added. Yep, I added your phone number so in case you can't ever get in. Hello. All right, so it looks like it is installing Windows 11. It's asking for your Parallel 17 for Mac key. Yes, oh, sorry. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna do try for 14 days. So he will need to get a license for Windows 11. We'll have to look into that as well. And now it's gotta download all of the updates and stuff uh, for Windows 11, so that's another thing. And this is why this stuff costs money because uh, this takes time. It takes know-how and time. All right, well, it's not much we can do until it gets off the phone. We have to see about getting a license key and see what else he wants to do. So we'll go ahead and pause y'all here.